I know I should shave. I really need to. But the thing about it is that I, the, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but the pipes in the apartment were freezing up. And just, just the one pipe. All right, just the sink. Every other pipe in the building was just 100% fine, but the sink in the bathroom, you know, the one that I shave at, that one froze up, and I'm worried I'm going to clog the bitch. So, I'm just not shaving. And I, I, it was fine while it was cold out, because, like, the excuse was, my face needs to stay warm. Now what's your excuse, bitch? It's 36 degrees out right now, but it was like 65 yesterday, and I was like, Spring! Yo! Is that my homie, Spring? Is he here? Is he here? Um, I am increasingly becoming frustrated with my current living situation. I mean, I, I've, I, I'm fine. I've made it the past year and a half over here, but like, you, you sit back for a second and you realize, I graduated almost two years ago. Why do I still have a shit tear job? <laughs> and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm considering going back to college. I feel like such a fucking moron, dude. How can you fuck up this badly in life? How can you spend four years getting a degree and it does nothing? There's more gender studies graduates than with actual jobs than me, dude. I'm telling you right now, I fucked up. I fucked up. If you're under the age of 18 and watching this video, don't go to college. For the love of fucking God, at least fucking think about it first. Take a year off from school just to figure out where you are in life. If you got a good job that you can see yourself in for the next 10 years, fuck it, you don't need to go to college, okay? Okay? If I had just not gone to college and just immediately started working where I am working at now, I'd have money. <laughs> I'd have money. I'd have money at the ass. I'm just wasting fucking $500 every month just handing it to these stupid ass banks. And I mean, I haven't lately. I'm not going to do it this month because I don't fucking feel like it. And, and I don't have a balance due, apparently. I know that the federal loans are frozen. They've been frozen for almost a year. <laughs> I'm still paying them, though. I'm going to have to pay them eventually. It's like, for fuck's sake, I'm going to have to pay this shit eventually. I'm going to die. I could probably die with this debt. They're going to come after my fucking family. You know, my mom's mourning my death. And the fucking loan office calls in and say, Hello, Mrs. I'm not going to say my last name. If You should know my last name if you watch this channel enough. I'm very sorry to hear about the loss of your poor son. Speaking of poor, you're about to be even more poor. Because you have to pay your fucking loans back, bitch. I swear to God, dude, I am not happy. I'm not happy about the fact that I'm going to go back to college. I've, I've already fucking decided. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I already told my boss. I'm like, I went into my boss's office yesterday. It was yesterday. And I was like, so what if I told you I was thinking about going back to college? And she was like, go for it. But like behind those eyes, she lied. Behind those eyes, I could see like, don't. Please don't. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but I can't do this. This was a fine side gig. I can't. I cannot do this for the next 40 years. I am sorry. I am sorry. I can't. I can't do it for the next 40 years, all right? I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that the second that my current degree actually becomes useful, I'm outy. Just to be perfectly clear, okay? Just to be absolutely clear. The second that this degree actually got me a real job, I was going to be gone. Still waiting. Still waiting. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting on it, boy. I'm waiting. I'm waiting.
sitting on my fucking ass applying to a bunch of dumb shit, just waiting for a fucking call back. No one even has the decency to call you to tell you that you suck. It's like, just pick up the phone and be like, hello, we reviewed your application and you're a dumb bitch. And, it, and it's like, that sucks, but like, at least you fucking told me. I got a rejection letter in the snail mail once. I was like, damn, dude, they're really going all out for this rejection. <laughs> Felt like I was actually, you know, communicating with someone with class. You know, most of the time, they don't even fucking respond. It's like, yeah, we're not hiring this bitch. We're not hiring this bitch. Just, just pick up, just pick up some someone else, some collateral straight out of college that is gonna go for a starving wage, starvation wage. They're gonna go for. They're gonna. They won't even get paid. They're just gonna do an internship. All right. So yeah. Um, I had some other stuff to talk about in this video, but I completely forgot about all of them. I was going to talk about how I fell in love with this pickup at the fucking car lot in town, the only car lot in town, so like the prices are ridiculous. <laughs> They're actually okay. And the, see, the thing is, is that I got this car, I got a pretty good deal on this. I got a pretty good deal on this, all things considered. I know it says 109,000 miles on it, but... But it was a pretty good deal for this vehicle. And I really like this car. We had a amazing winter. We've had probably the best winter in like 10 years. So I didn't really get to test the all-wheel drive, except for like once. And that one time we had a bit of an issue. We had a bit of an issue, admittedly. Thankfully, like I got stuck in the parking lot at work. So like I was just able to pull up a little, a couple of meters. And then, and then that fixed that. You know, I was just going to park there and it's like, I don't really, I f quite frankly, I don't give a fuck if my boss is mad about me for parking here. I'm not getting out of here without a shovel. And I was already late. So I was like, fuck it. Fuck it. I spent, you know, the 15 minutes that I'm usually early to work just finagling with that shit. But you know what? The rest of the winter was fine. I mean, it was a really easy winter, but like I was able to climb up hills with this. So like that's that's where I, that's where most of my concern was. I know I'm not going to be exactly going mudding with this, but I still want to pick up. <laughs> and I fell in love with this '94 K2500 Turbo Diesel. Turbo Diesel. The thing was $7,900, and if it was just a thousand dollars less, I would have called up the guy that sold me this and been like, "Guess what? I'm coming back for another test drive." <laughs> But then it got sold, you know, and it went off of the, of the, of the website for the place. And that was like two weeks ago. And the other day I was driving to work and they have a garage, you know, for repairs straight across the street from where I work. And the truck was sitting in the parking lot there with the dealership license plate still on it. And I was like, could I still get this? I don't want to spend $7,900, all right? Because um, if I had jumped on GameStop, you know, like any time besides the time that I jumped on GameStop, I probably would have been able to make, I don't know, 500 bucks. <laughs> oh, I only want $7,900 to be able to afford this pickup. I don't even want a million, all right? You know, I could have made a million dollars off GameStop. Fuck that. I just want this pickup. I just want this 94 Chevy pickup. That's what I want. It had 178,000 miles on it. For a, for a diesel truck, that shit could go another 300,000. That shit could have two more lifetimes within it, dude. Man, I, I just wanted it. And now there's a... Now there's a 95 Chevy pickup, but it's a 1500... And it's fifty nine hundred dollars, and like, I, 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 it's it's really cute. It's a cute truck. I'm not even gonna fucking lie. I'm I'm just I'm about ready to put the seatbelt back on and drive you out to see this pickup. <laughs> I fall in love with cars too easily, dude. I can look at a fucking classified ad on on the on the internet and be like, and they can write something like, "This car still got a lot more drive left in it," and it's like, oh. Oh, I hope it does. I hope it does. Uh, anyway. So speaking of getting rich quick, I've been investing in Bitcoin. <laughs> I am fucking terrible at investing, dude. I bought GameStop at $377 per share. What the fuck was I thinking? 
What is wrong with me, dude? And the other day, I was trying to diversify my crypto portfolio. So I bought Litecoin at its peak. <laughs> I'm so fucking mad at this dude. Like you have to intentionally try to be this bad in investing. Like, holy shit, dude. I bought lot Litecoin at 233. What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? I thought buying Bitcoin at 36,000 was stupid. I mean, the thing about Bitcoin is that there's no limit. That shit's going to probably be like when the economy finally does, you know, come crashing down, which I think is pretty much inevitable at this point. We're kind of holding together the world, the you, not maybe not the world economy, but the U.S. economy. We're kind of holding on by a thread, you know. Um, but when it finally does, you know, come crashing down, I think like at the end of the year, Bitcoin could probably be over, um, um, a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand per coin. I think it could. And you know what? The thing about it is that I bought it 3,600. So that would turn my $100 into 300 and something dollars. So, you know, it really doesn't benefit me that much. I didn't sink my life savings into Bitcoin. I probably should, you know. I should still do it. Fuck me. Why am I not taking every single cent that I have in savings and not and putting it into Bitcoin? It's only going to go up. It's it's a no lose situation. You know, next month it might dip below forty thousand again. And you're like, you know, oh no, there's there's all my savings gone. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh wait, it's gonna be fucking like sixty thousand tomorrow morning when we wake up or whatever. Next time Elon Musk posts something to fucking Twitter. This is what's gonna happen right there. Okay, something that actually pisses me off about this car is that the iPod reshuffles itself every single time that I get into the car, so that it, so the likelihood of me listening to the same song multiple times per day is very high because I listened to David Bowie this morning when I drove to work, and now David Bowie, no, not even David Bowie, but the same goddamn song, same song. There's 355 songs on this iPod, and it just says, it just plays the same song twice in the same day. It's just the thing that it does. But speak, but like, like, Litecoin is recovering slowly. It got all the way down to like 140 after I bought in at 233. So, um, it's recovering, obviously. But, um, you know, if I just fucking waited one week. So that's why I'm looking for the next Bitcoin. Everyone's looking for the next Bitcoin. I'm just, I'm just, you know, scrolling through Gemini every once in a while. And I keep forgetting, you know, I keep forgetting, like, I'm going to buy in when it goes down to this much. And then that passes. And then I'm sitting, and then, like, the next day it's up $200. And I'm like, why am I so bad at this? I hate investing. Investing sucks. I'm trash at it, as you can plainly see. I fucking bought, like, 40 shares of Dover. Speedway Motorsports Dover DVD on, you know, Yahoo Finance, you know, and it actually got up to like two thirty. I bought it at like two twenty one, and it got up to two dollars and thirty cents, and I was like, and now it's down to like two thirteen, and I'm like, it's just, it's just like, I didn't want to sell it when it was going up because you know I just wanted to say that I had stock in Dover. It's a meme stock. And now it's going down, and I'm like, I could have had like 40 bucks. <laughs> I'm so bad at investing. So I'm looking at other, th I'm looking at other coins. I, I looked at AMP today. I pressed the watch button on Gemini for, for AMP, A-M-P. It's sitting at three cents. Actually, the peak was three cents. It's down to two cents now. When it hits one cent, I am buying like $300 worth of AMP. All right? AMP energy. Okay. 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 You listen to me right now? Are you listening to the, are you picking up what I'm throwing down? Anyway, I just had to scream. I kind of just wanted to do a hair update, honestly. A hair update. I like the hair. The hair's good. My boss told me to cut it and I'm like, fuck you. I will quit before I cut it. 
All of my bosses have wanted me to get it stylized. Someone wanted me to get that, you know, shaved sides with the floopy over that you see all the alt-right cunts with. And I was sitting there like, I mean, it's okay, but like, I don't think it would go good with me. I feel like I'm more of the uh, complete lack of a shit being given. Like, the thing about it is that I really should shave, but I don't want to shave because my beard looks good. It actually looks full, you know? 24 years old next month, all right? And I finally have a real beard. Look at this. Look at this shit. Not that stupid ass shit that I had in college where I just refused to shave and I looked like a fucking AIDS baby. You know, all those people that comment on the uh, apology to Russian vids video where they're like, you can tell that he is transgender because his beard does not come in. No. No, I, just, I was just like 20. <laughs> That's why. That's why. Pretty sure I still have a dick. <laughs> Pretty sure. At least last time I checked. I mean, it was like an hour ago when I had to go to the bathroom. So, I mean, a lot can change in an hour. You never know. You never know, right? Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been your, like, monthly update on me yelling and life and shit. I'm probably going to try and do more of these more often. I don't want to do it in the car though because I need to have it turn on for the light so I just wasted, you know, 16 minutes worth of gas for no reason. So, yeah. So, I'm going to try and find a way to make these videos more often. But, I might go back to college. And like me in like second grade when I wanted to graduate like already is going to look is going to look at me in the future like when like I'm gazing into a crystal ball or some shit. And, and second grade me is disappointed is what I'm trying to say. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.